supposed to fight Tryna try to see what it's like, take me, so I roll the dice Look up to no one else, but your yeah, house shy yeah. I got real power, Hebrew is a lie about black people, uh, of that being a nationality in the Bible Well, brother, what we had to tell you was that you're not black, according to the Bible. Right. You said what? I want to know what y'all say my nationality is. Well, brother, we gonna see what the Lord said. Right. Right. If you don't want to believe, man, let's believe in the Lord. Right. right. And what He said. Let's bring this up. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Right. Right. Listen up, brother. Listen up. This is your nationality. Read. Right? And He said. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Right. So your name is no more black, right? No more African American, no more Negro, or right? but what? But Israel. But what? But Israel. So nationality. But Israel. So what did the Lord say your nationality was? But what? Right. But Israel. Right. right. Now let's get. So what? Right. But Israel. So your nationality, according to the Bible, would be an Israelite. Right. Now if you say that for me. Israelite. Right. Yeah. Not an Israelite. Yeah. Say what? That's right. 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 Now, what that name Israel, right, that name holds weight. You can't be an Israelite and you just doing whatever you want. Right. Right. For example, if I'm a boss, I can't do what the employees do. I'm held to a higher standard. Right. So you be an Israelite, God's chosen, and you're held to a higher standard. Right. Now, we're going to read about that standard. Let's get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Teacher. Right. We're going to read about that higher standard that you're, that you're held to. Right. Now, let's get Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10 and verse 12. Yeah. And now Israel. Now who? And now Israel. Is that brother? And now Israel. The Lord said, and now Israel. So now he's talking to you directly. And now Israel, read. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? So what do you think the Lord requires of you now that you know that you're Israel? He said, what? He said to pray. All right, to praise him, you know. All right, that's that's that, that, that's one point to praise him, but it gets a little bit deeper than that. Oh, let's read. But to fear the Lord thy God, so you have to fear God. Read to walk in all His ways and to love Him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right, so to know the Lord, we have to serve Him with all our heart and with all our soul. But we about to read about the action on how you do that. Oh, let's read. To keep the commandments. To what? To keep the commandments. Again, to keep the commandments. So the Lord said, if you want to get close to him, why well, you have to keep the commandments? Right. If you want to love the Lord, know who he is, know the secrets, hey, keep the commandments. Right? right? How do you know your nationality? By keeping the commandments. Right. Now, we're going to read a couple commandments. All right? Now, what's some commandments that you already know? So what? Hey brother. Hey brother, I can't really hear you. Step up a little bit. Come a little all right, now again, you know, that is a couple commandments, but it's some it's some commandments that I right kill, right? That should not kill, no steal, right? Now again, now those are the basic ten commandments. That's the foundation. Right. Now within the ten commandments, you miss one. Let's get into the twenty-eight day, right? You miss the Sabbath day, right? So within the ten commandments, you got comes you got something called the Sabbath, which is the holy day. Now we're gonna read about this holy day. Let's read this. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day. So the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day. Now, what day is the Sabbath day on? 
today, Saturday. All right, so that's good. So you did remember the Sabbath day, just like the Lord commanded. All right, remember this day. Read. To keep it holy. All right. Six days shalt thou labor. So the Lord says six days you got, you know what I'm saying, from Sunday to Friday to get all your work done. But what? And do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day. But the what? Right. But the seventh day. But the seventh day. Right, read. And the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Hey, brother, you still listening? So again, the Lord said on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, which is today, right? Do no work. Read that last part again. In it thou shalt not do any work. So today the Lord said no working. Now do you work today? You do work? Yeah, I work. Alright, but do you work today though on this specific day? Yes, I Alright, so the Lord said on this day as a commandment, right within the Ten Commandments that you listed. One of them is no working on Saturday. Right, let's read. Right, from Sunday all the way to Friday, you got all the days to get your work in. But this day is your rest day. Right, this is the day to, This is the day for you to come out, probably listen to us, or just go on YouTube, listen to some videos, sit back, read, chill, relax, meditate. Right, this is a day dedicated to the Lord, right, for you to rest. Read on. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, right. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. So your whole household on this day is supposed to relax. Right, read. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, right. Right. the sea, and all that in them is, right. and rested the seventh day. Right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. What's uh? Hey, brother, can, can, uh, can get him a flight? So called in Spanish. Hey, Aaron, y'all get him a flight? The county in the way. Hey, brother, real quick. You got two minutes to learn something? Two minutes, brother? Right, but nevertheless, right, so again, this day is a day of no working. So knowing that, are you going to make that effort to do no more work, right, no more going in today on a, uh, on a Saturday? Something about that Spanish, brother. So called. So today, are you... You said what? Yeah, yeah, we on YouTube too. Two minutes. Two minutes, sister. Come check us out. Come check it out. Two seconds. Come check us out. So, brother, again. Hey, brother. Brother, real quick, check it out. Two seconds. Come check us out. Hey, sister, come check us out real quick. Come learn something new. So again, brother, are you willing to do no more work today? On every Saturday, right? Make that effort to do no more work. You said what? All right, well that's good. But you, I mean, but you want to make sure your own people still not working on this day. Right. Right, but the goal is, is from now on forward, make sure you're trying to work from less and less until it becomes no more working on a on uh, Saturday. Right. Right, so that's one commandment. Now let's get Leviticus chapter um, 19. Let's get Leviticus 19 and verse 27. Now here goes another commandment for the man. Let's read this. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Yeah. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Right. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. The Lord said, Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So the Lord said, As a man, no more right, or cutting your beard. All right, all right. Now, are you able to grow a beard? So if you're able to grow a beard, you say, What? Seven years old. You know, all right, hey, all praise. Hey, but you got to let that thing grow. Right, because right, aren't you a mighty lion? Right, I'm like, What? Because what? Give me our Proverbs 30 and 30 real quick. Right, because what is a lion? A lion is a strong beast, a strong animal. Right, got the mane. Right, he's the so-called king of the jungle. Aren't you a lion in this world, brother? Right, and you're the king of this world. You, you, you're really supposed to be the king. Right. Right, so as the king, you have to what? Move in that king like spirit. Hey, brother, slow down. You got two minutes for the Lord, man. Right, let's read this. 
is the book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 30. A lion, which is strongest among beasts. The Lord said a lion. Hey, brother, you listening? And the Lord said a lion, right? A lion which is strongest amongst beasts. Read. And turneth not away from any. The Lord said a lion, he's strongest among beasts, and turneth not away from any. And what does a lion have? What does a lion have? He has a mane. Right, and the lion got that mane so you can go from a male lion to a female lion. Right, with right. that mighty mane. Now let's go back to the business 19. So you, as a mighty man, brother, why are you supposed to be growing out that mighty beard? Right. Well, listen. I'll just read. Drop out the mane. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19. Hey, brother, we go, brother. We go, we go, we go, okay. All we want you to do is just to listen. That's all we have. Right. Right. Now, what did the Lord just say that you got to have in your face? Grow a beard, right? right, grow a beard. Right. Now, are you going to keep that commandment? You said what? They don't work on the holy day, right? Right, no working on the holy day. You said that you don't do that. Now, are you going to start growing your beard out? Because that's another commandment. Right. Don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean, brother? Look, look, I'm a man. I keep a beard up under here, but it's low. I never cut my beard off, but it's low. Brother, See that real quick, let's hear Psalms 133 and verse 2. Hey, brother, real quick, because you got to think about it like this. In slavery, right, the so-called white man, he got the strongest man. He shaved off his beard, and he did what? He called him a boy. Right. right he made him a baby face, and he called him a boy. Now, brother, are you a boy or are you a man? Well, I keep a beard. I keep it light. That's you keep that right? Yeah, I got a great beard up on there. Brother, brother, that's not a beard, brother. Yeah. That's not a beard, brother. Yeah. That's not a brother. You mourn and you say you, you left one line. You left a thin, a thin. It's not even a chest strap. You just left a thin line that's fading away. Come on, brother. You gotta go. It's not about growing a thick beard. You just got to make sure it's on your face. That's it. Right. Right. Now let's read about this real quick. Let, let's read about one of our forefathers and his beard. Let's see how our forefathers got down with that commandment. Let's read this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 133, verse 3. It out. Verse 2. It is like the precious ointment right. upon the head right. that ran down upon the beard. Right. Even Aaron's beard said the ointment that ran down upon Aaron's beard. Right. Now let's see how long his beard was. Read. That went down to the skirts of his garment. Now what? That went down to the skirts of his garment. So Aaron's beard was so long and went down to the damn skirts of his garments. Right. Like all the way to about his knees. Shin area. But that's how our forefathers got down. Our, forefathers, our forefathers, they read the commandments. They say, oh man, we got to have a beard. Oh man, let me grow this thing up. Right. Right, let me make sure I got the ointment on. Let me make sure I'm doing what I need to do. Make sure the Lord is dealing with me. Again, because right. that's how you can tell a boy from what? A man. Right. Let's get uh Second Kings, let's get First Kings 2 and 2. Right, that's how you can tell a boy from a man is when that man is in that age where you can grow a beard and he's growing that mic. If you can grow one. Right. Now you said that you can grow one. So you should start making that effort, so you know what I'm saying, to start letting it grow. Be that lion, let that lion come out. But that's not a beard, brother, because you're still marring it. You're still cutting into it. Now, if you had it and it was still low, you know what I'm saying, you didn't mar into it, that'd be cool. But you were still marring into it and you're leaving the love around that line. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 right, brother, but from now on, just don't touch it at all. Just let it grow. Right, just let it grow from now on. All right. For the Lord, not for us, not for man, not, you know what I'm saying, not to look good for women, but do it for the Lord, brother. Right, right. Lord. right let's read this. It's the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. So like in verse 3. You want to Verse 2. Right. I go the way of all the earth, be thou strong, therefore. Lord said he goes the way of all the earth. Be strong and do what? 
and show thyself a man. And what? And show thyself a man. Tell me, and show thyself a man. Keep on the law. And show thyself a man. Keep on the commandment. Show thyself a man. So the Lord says, show yourself a man. Right. right. Go that beard and show yourself a man. Don't cut it and take it back to the days when they had us in slavery, calling you boy, calling you nigger. Right. All because they they them they cut you down, right. shaved your beard off, and left you all naked. Right. All right. Teach up. They told me I had to cut my, all my facial hair off to be in there. Now, what do you think they did there? I don't know why they did it, but I, I didn't go in there. Right, we're going to right, tell you why they did that, brother. Right. Right, they really did that so you can stay in sin. Right, like they did that so you won't be close to your God. Right. They like, did that to up, separate you, right, from your God. Right. And they know the minute you're separated from your God and they can go and attack you. Right, but when we would our God, when we keeping the laws, hey, we prosper as a nation. Right, right. So let's read this. It's the book of Judah, chapter 6, chapter 5, and verse 16. And they cast forth before them the Chananite, verse 17. And while they sinned not before their God, so when we did a sin against our God, right, when we kept the laws, when we kept the statutes, the commandments, excuse me, we, uh, we, we kind of talked to the brother. Y'all kind of in the way. We can uh, scoot over a little bit. All right, so again, the Lord said when we sit, sorry, read that, uh, read, read, read that part again. And whilst they sinned not before their God, so when we did a sin against our God, when we kept the laws, when we grew our beard out, we did what? They prospered. We prospered. You heard that, brother? So when we didn't break God's laws, like cutting off our beard, we prospered. Right. And these nations know that. But right. these nations, they don't want you to prosper. Right. So what are they going to say? Oh, you know what? Hey, if you want this job, if you want to feed your family, hey, cut off your beard. Right. Right. But you, knowing that this word is against you, hey, you gotta say, hey, nah, man, hey, me and my people, hey, we gonna stand up for righteousness. Right. right. Well, we gonna keep the laws. Right. right. Hey, I'm gonna grow my beard up. I'm gonna serve the Lord. That's what you gotta say. Right. Let's read on. Because the God that hated the iniquity was with them. Right. But when they departed from the way. Which he appointed them, so, but when we sin, right, when we start cutting our beards to look like the so-called white man, to get certain jobs, what happened? They were destroyed. They were what? They, they were, were destroyed. destroyed. They were what? They, they were, were destroyed. destroyed. So when we stopped following God, we stopped following his ordinances, and the Lord said we were destroyed. What? And how many battles? In many battles. A few. In many battles. Just one. In many battles. When we separated from the Lord, damn near every, really every battle we lost. Why? Because we wasn't with the Lord. But these other nations, they know that. So they say, okay, the so-called black man, I'm going to cut him down to the bottom. And if he want a job, he's going to have to sin again. All right, but let's get um, let's get 2 Maccabees 2 and 26. All right, let's get 2 Maccabees 2 and 26. But in this society, brother, you're going to have to learn something called faith. Right? Which is what? The things which is not seen. It's like having a hope in the things that's not seen. You still believing in the Lord, knowing that the Lord going to look out, but showing you the hope. Right, why still at the bottom of society? Let's get this real quick. It's the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 2 and verse 26. Therefore, to us that have taken upon us this painful labor of a writing, it was not easy. I get first up. Uh, I get first Maccabees 226. That's what I want. And let's get uh let's get Sirach chapter. 35 and verse, no, chapter 2 and verse 6. Sorry, right, 2 and 6. It's the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 26. Bring it out. Bring it out. Nah, you can drop this. Let's get a second. Uh, let's, get, let's read this. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. It's a what? Talking about this rare book? This rare book is the Apocrypha. It was a part of the Bible. But the Protestant church took it out of the Bible. You said what? We got some extra Bibles on here? We got some extra Bibles? Hey, Elder. Hey, Elder. Do we, do we got some more uh, Bibles? Some extra Bibles? Do we got some extra Bibles? No, we got no. Hey brother, we don't we don't have any extra ones right now, but right, but come up next Saturday, 
and Lord willing, we'll have some for you. All right. 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 And again, brother, you got to think about it. That's not just a coincidence. Right. That's not just a coincidence. You're just so happy. Every time I see y'all, are you just so? I'll be listening. That's right. Right now, I just came up listen to y'all straight up. You know what I'm saying? But I can hear y'all every time I be around. They all praise to the most high. And again, brother, that's the Lord. He's directing you to the, into the path of righteousness. Right? It's not just a coincidence. You go on one part of the city, you see Israelites. You go on another part of the city, you see Israelites. Now you here on Michigan Avenue. You talking to the servants of the Lord. I be there. Sometimes y'all just don't know I be there. But I be right there in the area. And I be right there listening to y'all. Hey, y'all praise. But now something come up and start inquiring knowledge, though. Right? Because you can only do so much from listening from far. Right. Can't ask questions. You can't really get into a dialogue. You don't really learn nothing. That's why I came over here because it's been a coincidence. I've been around all the time. Hey, praise to the most high. Now let's read this real quick. Let's read this. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 1. Yeah. Hear therefore, O ye kings. The Lord said, hear therefore, O ye kings. But like we said earlier, you are king. So the Lord has commanded you to hear and what? And understand. Right. Learn. Right. What? Learn. Right. It's brother do. Learn. Right. The Lord said, come up here, hear, understand, and learn. Right. right. Read. Ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. You're really ultimately, brother, you're really a judge. You're really a king. You're really a king walking the earth. Right. But the Lord said, for you being a king, you got to come up, listen, understand before you start, you know what I'm saying, walking in that path. Right. But it's the time for you to come up, you know what I'm saying, if you got any questions, et cetera, it's the time to uh to start asking. Right. But we're going to get to... That's right. right. You're Israelite. Right. According to the Lord, brother. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. That's right. That's right, brother. Hey, and that's and that's really what all this is about. Like, we don't want you taking our word. See that? That's right, brother. That's right, God. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. Now let's get started right 27 and 3 real quick, because that's right. You as a man, you should want to bring your wife into this thing and your whole family. Why? Because you're coming in, you're serving the Lord. Right, let's read this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 27, verse 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. And brother, like you said, you want to bring your wife into this thing. But knowing that, you got to hold yourself diligently in the fear of the Lord. What is fearing the Lord? That's keeping the commandments, the laws, the statutes, right? Being on fire. That's showing your fear in the Lord. So you as a man, knowing that you're an Israelite, you got to keep God's commandments. And the Lord said, hey, from this point over, you, you literally got to be on fire. Right? You got to start coming up here. Hey, come up here next week. Fridays, we out here at 6. And Saturdays from uh, 3 p.m. to 10. All right, all praise to the Most High. Let's read this. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Hey, brother, where you going? All right, brother, real quick, we got one more Bible verse. You gonna get you something to eat? Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. Again, brother, what we what we going to earlier? What's today? What's today? Saturday. Saturday? Is it just Saturday? Is it like a regular, a regular day? The Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. Right. Now, on the Sabbath day, what's the ordinance to be? You know what? You know what? You're supposed to be arrested. Now, let's get Nehemiah 10. You can go eat. Nehemiah 13, 15. Nehemiah 13, 15. Yeah, what? Nehemiah 13, 15. Hey, brother, real quick. Now, knowing that today's the Sabbath day, the fifth, you said, you said no buying, no selling. Right, I mean, it's like you said, you said no, no, uh, no, no working, right? But also, it's a day to do no buying or selling on the Sabbath. 
So all of that, you got to go buy some food, brother. You can wait till the sun go down for that. But right now, it's the Lord's holy day for you not to do that. Let's read this. We good, we good, we good, we good. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do that. We all, we all straight. Now, brother, you, you got the will of you to scoot on? Wait, what's your, um, what's your um, uh, nationality? My nationality? Yeah. Um, half American, half Ecuadorian. Half American? What do you mean by half American? Like, my dad's an immigrant. It doesn't from from where? Ecuador, Ecuador, South America. Okay, South America. Okay, I'll pray. So according to the Bible, you'll be an Israelite. Now, like I'm telling this brother right here, hey brother, you still listening? Now we're about to read a commandment from the Bible. What the Lord said today is, and the ordinance said this day. Do you know what today is? No, like like the little uh, day, like Saturday. You know today's Saturday, right? Now, what is Saturday according to the Bible? The Sabbath day. But it's not Sunday, not Monday, not Wednesday, but it's Saturday. Now we're going to read about the ordinances for the Sabbath. Let's read it. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring well or any victuals on the Sabbath day to the Lord, said, if the people of this land bring well or any victuals on the Sabbath, see, you see all up and down Michigan Avenue, you got people buying and selling, bringing well and victuals on the Sabbath. I say, the same thing with the Lord saying, you know? Where are any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell right. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath? Slide, slide, slide. Buy it of them on the Sabbath. Right. So on this day, the Lord said, if anybody brings any wear or victuals to sell, that we're not going to buy it of them on the Sabbath. Right. Are you saying that you're going to go buy some, brother? But what did the Lord just say? No buying. Right. If they're coming up to you with balloons, kind of candy, Damn, uh, corn with the them sauce on it and the seasoning. And the Lord said, on this day, we're not dealing with it. We're not buying it. We're not selling it. Right. Like onion rings, a little fry. I don't know what those is. Pork skin or onion rings, whatever they is. The Lord said, no buying it. All right? Now, that's a commandment. Do you believe in the Bible? Now, knowing that that's a commandment from God, are you going to keep that commandment? All right. That's from the Old Testament, yeah? Come on, brother. I, I got that day. Say, wait till the sun go right. Wait till the sun go down. Okay, I'll pray. I'll pray to the Most High. I'll pray to the Most High. Remember, brother, you are Israelite. Keep the commandments. All right, brother. Hey, you gotta come out. All right, all praises. Hey, brother, real quick. Hey, brother, brother, brother. Hey, brother, Jack. Matthew five nineteen. That's the Old Testament. What about Old Testament? I was just curious. Yeah. That's yeah. From the Old Matthew Testament. 5 and 19. You got yeah. Matthew 5. And, Matthew. Huh. So, hey, brother, real quick, because you said that's the Old Testament, right? Uh, was it? I was asking. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. That's all good. That's all good. So, yeah. whether it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament, at, or in the Apocrypha, it's still all one. All right. So, let's get uh, Baruch 4 and 1 real quick. Now, the law, like what you just read, the law endures forever. Now, so there's no, you know what I'm saying, it's in, the, it's in the Old Testament, that means it's done away with. Right. right? Now we're going to read this real quick. Let's read this. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 19. Hello. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. So the Lord said, if you're breaking a least commandment, like the Sabbath day, well, I mean, it's, it's just a Sabbath day. I don't just buy a little bit of corn, a little bit of, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever. The Lord said, if you break one of these least commandments, breaking the Sabbath, read and shall teach men so. And if you're teaching people, well, that's just the Old Testament. All right, you can still do it. That's the Old Testament. What did Jesus Christ say? He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So the Lord is going to do away with you, and you're going to be put at the bottom of society if you're teaching other people to break God's laws. That's right. Or whether it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Now, let's read this real quick. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God right. and the law that endures forever. And the what? And the law that endures forever. The Lord is saying, and the law that endures forever. Now, knowing that, what we read in Nehemiah has no buying, no selling. The Lord said that that law endures forever. Right? Because right. the Lord don't change. Now, you said that you was Ecuadorian, right? Now, do you read about Ecuadorians in the Bible? Well, it wasn't a country. No. You don't. So why do you believe in the Bible? If you if you don't read your history in it, we're all, we're all God's children. But we're not. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Can you back up? Can you back up? Please, please. Yes, sir. Now, again, brother, 
Now, what the whole point is, is that your history of being Ecuadorian is actually in the Bible. But again, you don't read about Ecuadorians in the Bible. You gotta remember, the Bible is a history book. It's not a book of religion or fairy tales or um, just anything. It's an actual history book with your history went within it. But what the so-called white man did was he covered up your nationality and he painted the images and he took the facts of it and twisted it up and he gave it to you in the form of uh, Christianity, the form of religion. But what we had to do is we had to give you back your nationality according to the Bible. Right. right. Now let's get again, let's get um Genesis 32. As a matter of fact, let's get Genesis 32, 28. Now what we had to tell you was that you're not an Ecuadorian, or you would be an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Right. Have you heard of the Israelites? Huh? Have you heard of the Israelites? Yeah. Who are the Israelites? Are they just some are they just some ordinary people? No, the God's chosen people. They're God's chosen people. Right, right. And again, brother, we're God's chosen. You see the people on the side, these people are God's chosen. Right. right. So let's read this. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. Yeah. Yeah.